So hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Knight's Kingdom review. And today's which is on uh, the King Siege and the Battle Wagon from 2005. So on the front of the manuals, you see Lego logo, Knight's Kingdom uh, to logo, well, second version, of course. And also that blue border that we've seen on most sets of 2003 through 5. Well, except for Modern City, of course. So you see picture of the sets in action and also the set numbers, of course. This is on the back, ad for Lego Club. And then half of an ad for some of the other sets from the time. But sorry if it's cut off, because that's how I got it off Bricklink, of course, and ad for the construction figure sets, which I will review in future Throwback Thursdays, of course. Also, far back a bit, which is the last building set. And just like the 2004 range, is a little comic strip showing the storyline of it. So if you want to look, look at any of this, pause the video. And the first page of which, map of Morcia. And then King Siege of On the back, ad for Lego Shop at Home. And then larger ad of the other sets from the time. And that one of which, uh, next, next throwback Thursday. And also the construction figures as well. Same stuff, of course. Mm. So, first off, are the minifigs included in this, or in these two sets? First, we have Raskus is year two minifig version and then included in both sets is Jaco. That was a year two version of course. Which as you can see that this time Raskus does have that classic uh, uh, armor piece on him but with some nice printing to it which the 2004 version didn't have of course. So that's a nice change and of course on both of them they do have uh, these like cla the shield pieces which are probably the classic kinds but would be two-way handle of course instead of the like larger ones that they had in the first year so at least nice that they changed it up a bit and also all of which had the same sword piece as the first wave did but in different colors of course so, and let me take that off Besides for that, but whereas the face prints of which, same as from the first year, and also the helmet pieces, which do have different colors to them, which I think is a good change, but in the case of Jayco's. And then on to King Matthias, same stuff as 2004 version did, but and same crown piece as well, and also what each set of which it's around two, what you're looking at, but actually two in both sets of the, like, of Vladic men, of course. Which, as you see, kind of similar to the uh, year one versions. But everything with them is just the same with each one. But at least nice to get for army building, of course. You can see torso print nice, and of course wielding the classic battle axe piece. And from the back of which, uh, no need to remove these because no back torso printing on them since they're older figures. And 
And the first one in the bow wagon set is for the main builds is of course one of the classic horse pieces. Which as you see, or if I remove this, and it's just the classic horse piece, which has just the swivel head, of course. Well, until in 2013 when they had the swivel legs on as well, of course. But on this one, of which, as you see, holding two lance pieces on the saddle piece, and also the uh, newer uh, horse uh, head thing, but in green, suiting to that of Raskus. And of course, fit them onto that like so. But also, as you see, and once again, two different lances. One used as an actual lance, and also one used as a flagpole for this, representing that he's for Matthias, of course. So now, on to the battle wagon itself. Oh, it's quite interesting, unique build. And one thing good about it is, well, for most of it, is perfect symmetry. Well, except for in the top part of which. Well, although there's just two separate sections, one of which is with the classic horse piece that in black, and also this uh, add-on piece in red, of course. And of course, connected onto the bomb joint for that. Although I think it would be nice to include another horse piece, is if this was in realistic life, I don't think a single horse could pull this whole carriage. Probably around two or so. But, and like most of which, do you get the like rounded, a uh, wheel or rounded brick pieces uses wheels, and of course, the bottom half of the rock bits or rockets or rocket half bits but used as like holders or spokes or something and of course it does roll really well but as for this front part or this front balcony part with that like classic uh, fence piece on there and also on the sides of which you see how the castle door pieces that can swivel in and out really goodly and also in some good enough space to fit a fig into. And on the back of which is just a very simple ladder piece, but that you can flip down and put some one in there. And probably even though it's probably to represent extra bars, of course. And for this top part of which, as you see, has a couple more lances, but holding these is like a uh, Vladic scorpion flags, which are the thin film material, which they barely use much nowadays. Yes, but as for this top area with the other kind of axe pieces and also the classic catapult piece, which if you get one of these transworn cylinders, load it on there, and you can fling it out like so. So, at least it has plenty of good playability to it. And also, a whole lot of jagged slopes going on, like right here. And also, interesting use of the flame pieces is there, obviously. And now, on to the King's Siege. Which, as you can see, quite basic, like the battle wagon has, but but of course it's from 2005. They, if they were starting, just starting to get a little bit more complex and things, but besides that, kind of simple as ever. And of course, like for the wheels, of which same as the other one, but and of course does have a little bit of a gear mechanism here, like uh, turn this and the like battery ramp feature can come forward <clears throat> and get the classic boulder piece but in this like glittery kind of effect kind of cool nice for mocking 
which I'm not sure if this came in other sets as well, but not sure. But whatever. And also those curved uh, brick pieces, but in brown. Quite nice and all. <coughs> and as for this upper, just some more long bricks and long slopes as well. And of course, do get uh, the large shield pieces from the construction figures, which, as you see, quite nice and interesting for that. But also, of course, you can, can attach to a few studs there. So, so at least this is probably where snot was starting to get more common. But unlike with that battle wagon, which also does have complete perfect symmetry to that. And as for this uh, boring ramp nowhere, as you see, it does flip down quite easily, but maybe a little too easily, but whatever. But at least the chains do kind of catch it well, or I mean it gets caught well. But although what would have been nice is if there was another plate in here to fill the gap in there, of course. And as for the top section, is which has about three of which of those uh, smallish uh, jagged slope pieces, but in this interesting blue color. And same with these flags that are on the classic spears as well. And just like in the one of the 2004 sets that there was, has one of those the clear orange uh, disc piece, but also there as well. And also do the, one of them like odd plate pieces there. But which I think are usually in like classic space and whatnot, but Kind of odd, interesting, seeing it here in a castle set. But, but yeah. Oh, oh wait. As I said earlier, that that Jayco here, which is actually included in two in a couple other sets, but one of which is not in this review, but. That which is next next throwback Thursday, but to, uh, my mistake. But yeah, so let me get everything together. And also a good spot to put your King Matthias fig onto, of course. So for my overall verdict, I think this these two of which are quite good sets for the time. Like, even though it may not have much of uh, snot techniques going on, but at least it's what kind of a sign of the times. But but also that also do get a good selection of figs. Like, if you weren't able to get some of the larger sets from the time to get Jayco and Raskas, well, these were good substitutes and. Also, how both of which contained two different of the Vlag Scorpion Knights, of course. Of which, quite good for army building, of course. But also, in the case of Battle Wagon, get two uh, separate horse pieces in a kind of smallish set. Even though might get it in more expensive ones nowadays, but whatever. But also do get... Also in the King Siege, which do get a few good recolors of pieces like the boulder and so on. And are they worth the prices that they were? Yeah, well, minus inflation and whatnot. And, and so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you that are looking to get these or whatever, well, 
definitely get them. eBay BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.